My Mini Mac Pro gets a GPU upgrade today. How well will it compare to the GPU in the $6,000 Mac Pro? We'll find out right after this. My Mini Mac Pro, which I described in detail in part two, I'll leave a link above and below. The graphics card choices were limited due to the limitations of the Akedio expansion box. So I selected the Radeon RX 560 since it was small enough, efficient enough, and it had been used in the 15-inch MacBook Pro lineup for a couple of years, thereby ensuring great compatibility in Mac OS. As I stated in that video, the RX 560 is a capable GPU. However, it was easily heavily overloaded and it is only about half as capable as the Mac Pro's Radeon Pro 580X. I have been searching for a small RX 580 GPU and have not been successful. I really enjoyed the performance of the RX 580 I used to upgrade the classic Mac Pro in part three, and I wanted something better for the Mini. The closest thing I did find could be classified as the RX 580's little brother in the RX 570. This is the Sapphire RX 570 Pulse ITX Edition. It is a small form factor GPU that is only a little larger than the RX 560 I have installed now. The RX 570 uses the same GPU die as the RX 580. It just contains 32 compute units versus the 580's 36, hence the little brother analogy. However, the 570 has twice the number of compute units as in the RX 560, so we should see a nice performance performance improvement. One shortfall that cannot be overcome is the 4GB of VRAM in this RX 570 versus the 8GB in the Mac Pro's 580X. There are no RX 570 ITX size cards available with 8GB. The power draw of the RX 570 is around 120 watts. This requires the use of an additional power supply in the Akedio chassis. With up to 75 watts of power coming from this PCIe slot, you could get away with a rather small power supply. However, I wanted to target Target something larger to also allow for an additional card that requires more power in the chassis second slot. I also wanted to mount this power supply inside the chassis. I looked for a small Pico like power supply. The one used here is an HD Plex Nano which is a 200 watt DC power supply and yes it is a bit overkill for this application but I wanted to test other options in the future so I found the best I could. This supply also requires an AC to DC adapter like those used for laptops. I chose an old Dell 230 watt laptop power supply I had lying around from an old laptop. The assembly here is just for test purposes, so please excuse the sloppy setup. How well does it perform? In Geekbench 4 Compute, we see the RX 570 score 102,000 versus the RX 560's 72,000 score. That is a nice 40% improvement, however it still lags the 580X in the new Mac Pro. In Geekbench 5 Compute, we see the RX 570 score 33,000 versus the the RX 560's 20,000, providing a nice 65% improvement. Still, it lags the 580X. In Unigen Heaven, Extreme Preset, the RX 570 averaged 32 frames per second versus the RX 560's 21 frames per second. This is a healthy 52% improvement. Again, it is the same story. It still lags the 580X in the new Mac Pro. Finally, in Luxmark, the ball render scene, the RX 570 scored 12,166, which is more than double the RX RX 560's 5630 score. This score comes to within 5% of the 580X in the new Mac Pro. Also worth noting that with the big heat sinks in the HD Plex Nano power supply and placing it in the path of airflow, this thing ran very cool even when running Unigen Heaven overnight. It is a very nice design, not cheap, but it should be capable of higher power GPUs as well. How does this GPU upgrade in my mini Mac Pro now compare to the new Mac Pro? Before the RX 560 was running roughly half the performance of the 580X in the new Mac Pro. After the upgrade using the RX 570, you can see that the performance jumped nicely to around 80% on average of the new Mac Pro. Considering the RX 570 was only $20 more than the RX 560 it replaced, you can see that this Mac Mini's capabilities get closer to the new Mac Pro for about a quarter of the price. And while it does not provide eight PCIe slots for the ultimate expansion like in the new Mac Pro, it does provide a level of upgradability unlike any other Apple desktop today. Day, which should satisfy most people's needs. If you found this video informative, hit the like button, share this video with friends you know who are into Macs, subscribe for more, let me know in the comments below. Is this mini Mac Pro something you would consider as an upgradable Mac? Wait a minute, I was thinking. The RX 580 Pulse used in part three worked very well and is not as large of a graphics card I thought it would be. In comparing the size to the Akedio chassis, it looks like it might be able to fit. 
Let's see if it will clear the fan. It does. I think you can look forward to a follow-up video soon. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.